So looking at the discussion we had here, it's, it's, it's obvious that we have a lot more thinking to do to create a overarching view, strategy for cities to deal with the mobility issue. Because mobility is directly connecting to the economy as it is to the sustainability, so the air quality aspect, but it's also connecting the citizens. And what was discussed is that we as citizens, not the technology, but we as citizens um, are the only one that can make the difference by making choices. By, uh, and for, for making better choices, we need more information on the alternatives that we have and understand the impact of our choices that we make um, to understand what the best choice in the end is going to be. So in my imagination, at the breakfast table in the morning, we check the information for the day and see what appointments we have, see what we need to do and how we can travel and where we're going to travel. Uh, having said that, so hello. Um, most Welcome people focus on that. Um, it's all about the information worker. But if you're in a factory and you have to operate a plant, there is no choice. You have to go. The only choice you can make is to go by car, by bicycle or by bus. And we will see that the big employers will provide more optimal transportation services that fit and connect with the city because they are very close to getting city services in place to make sure that their, their employees are living in a healthy environment. So there's a, a circle that we, we were tapping into and there's a long way from, from here to go, but I'm certain with them, some bold leaders in the current politicians' arena will get there. The first example needs to be born.